I swear, one of these days I'll find a way around your guard. Happily, I feel that I learn something every time I face you. Even if it's only a new place to nurse a bruise. So long as you're certain you have time. Let us begin. See? Master Lee was watching. He may not show it, but he clearly takes pride in watching his students practice. I learn something every time we meet, proving that loss sometimes is the best teacher. Thank the heavens the bruises are worth it. You are gracious as always. I regret that there won't be much time for such practice now that you've almost finished your training. Master Lee told me to pass on that you should speak to him when you have the chance. He said you could take your time, so you need not rush. Master Lee just went into his house. It's just over there, as always. You have some time to wander the school and talk with other students. Smiling Mountain likely has some of the younger students available if you want to spar. I shall leave you to it. Take care, my friend. I thought Master Lee would have your attention for the rest of the day. It is good to see you. I know you haven't had much time for simple sparring. It is too bad. Your fellow students benefit from your experience. A strong opponent is the best trainer. Ah, yes, training. For some time now, I have offered, for a small fee, to run students through a short regimen that will help them enhance their abilities. The lessons you learn from me, or from any trainer for that matter, will stay with you and help make you stronger or better able to focus your mind or magic. Let's see what you can learn. your bout against Jingwu with great pride. You have gained almost all you can from the practice arena. You are my best pupil, though you came to me an orphan. I have tried to prepare you for the responsibility your skills will bring. Have you given thought to your future? There will be a time for that later. I have kept you hungry for information, but you must trust that my reasons are valid. It is for your benefit that I do this. 
Your lessons are complete. Remember these basic skills and keep them at heart. But also remember the classes are not a true measure of ability. Always be ready to learn. I recall that as a child, you fell and bruised your arm. I comforted you, saying that small pains are part of learning, but not every setback imparts wisdom. You must be careful. Sometimes all you learn in defeat is that you have been defeated. This world is out of balance. Spirits grow restless, and you have a role to play that I have kept secret. Those who announce their important destiny before they are ready tend to meet unfortunate ends. The wise only seek attention when capable of dealing with it. The people are scared. I do not have all the answers, but I know you will become very important to the fates of many. You will be called to face a great evil. Master! Master Lee! What is this interruption? This had better be important. There is much to say. Master, Nijo came to warn me. He saw a boat from the Outlook past the fields. Strange outlaws. They, 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 they fired something at him, and Kiamin was injured. Where is she now? Still outside the village by the Outlook. Nijo couldn't carry her. Please come, Master Lee. The bandits are not at the village yet, but they could arrive at any time. Hmm. We will have to continue our discussion later, my student. It appears we have more pressing matters. The time for practice is over. Go to Gujin, the weapon master, and get a weapon. You may soon be called to use it. On your way, make certain Dawnstar is aware of the danger. Her skills have always complemented yours, so take her with you. Prepare yourself for a potential attack while I tend to my fallen student. I will return as soon as I can. We will continue our discussion when the threat is over. Good. The time comes when you will know all you need to. For now, keep the basics at heart. I am healed. What's the matter, Dawnstar? Are you scared that Master Lee might find out? There is talk of approaching bandits, and you bother me with unsubtle advances. How very like you, Gao. No doubt a tactic learned from your criminal father. His name is Gao the Greater and he built a fortune out of some ragged thieves and slave traders. If my charm can't lift your spirit, I'll buy the ground from under you. Flaunting your father's undeserved wealth does not impress me, Gal. It only serves to push me further away. You step beyond your station. She and I are discussing her future. Thank you, Gao, but I'll pick my own poison. Now leave, and if you'd be so kind, stay downwind. I won't forget this, Dawnstar. You show great disrespect. You as well. You will not take all the glory if there is an attack. We are not through. Oh, he is Gao the Lesser in all respects. I thought Master Lee allowed him to stay so that the influence of the father could be countered, but Gao never learns. He acts like he's above Master Lee's teachings. Such are the conceits of wealth, I suppose. I appreciate that you arrived when you did. That is nice to hear. Gao could learn much from you if he wanted to learn anything from anyone. Yes, he said you were coming. He just passed here with C-Pat on his way to help Kiamin. It 
It's strange that simple bandits would launch such a raid. Master Li was concerned that this would interrupt your training. His respect for your potential is just so... absolute. Has he told you any more about your future? I don't like your bad feelings. They always end up being right. Remember the grass fire? Half of the field's gone in a day, and you knew it would happen. You said you felt the lightning coming, but not even Master Li knows the weather like that. I trust your instincts. You are full of such promise. I can see into the spiritual, an ability that grants some insight, but it doesn't seem to be useful for anything other than keeping me awake at night. I helped Master Li discover the unrest that shapes your future, but I see only problems, while you are destined to find solutions. I envy you for that. <laughs> I'm glad. You have always kept your feet on the ground. What does Master Li say? That you should keep the basics close to heart? Let's go get your weapon from Gujin's workshop. It shouldn't be too hard to fend off simple bandits. They're foolish to attempt such an attack. Of course. Good company will make the walk go faster. I am healed. Nice little town you have here. Not a lot of guards, are there? How are your stocks of food? I don't know you. Why are you asking me all these questions? This town isn't well guarded. Forget it, let's just start looting. We'll get first crack at the good stuff. You're right. This isn't worth it. believe they've moved so quickly. We need your weapon. I am healed. Gujin will be in his shop north of the main stairs. It's so awful. This building is Gujin's place. As soon as we can, we should see him to arm ourselves. Hello, Weapon Master Gujin. Good day to you. <laughs> if you'd prefer, I don't need to use the fan. Now, what brings you here? Already? I assume you dealt with them, and the rest are in for quite a surprise when they get here. Well, no time to waste. Dawnstar, I watched you practice with that new blade yesterday, and I must say you take to it naturally. I want you to keep it and use it as your own. This is a great honor. A good weapon is a true warrior's most treasured possession. You know, you came here with Master Lee as just a babe. I came not long after, and I've been holding on to a weapon for you ever since. Well, two, actually. But you need to choose which one you'll take. Master Lee wants you to stay focused on your first weapon. 
I don't know where your master acquired these, but he has honored me with the care of two legendary weapons. You may arm yourself with either the legendary longsword, Fortune's favorite, or the famed staff, Golden Star. They say Golden Star was forged as a gift to a water spirit of the Silkworm River. A young noble convinced the great eastern serpent to fly him to the stars, where he dipped this staff in the tail of a comet. It could be pure fantasy, but the staff certainly isn't. It's strong and has an excellent reach. Your foes will tremble if they see you wielding it. They say this blade was created in the forge of Smiling Fortune, blacksmith to the gods. Crafted for his son, this blade eventually found its way into the hands of men. How your master found it, I cannot say, but this ancient longsword is yours, if you wish it. I'm afraid not. She would not be able to handle one of these weapons quite yet. I'll explain why in a moment, but suffice it to say that very few people have your aptitude for maintaining focus in battle. In time, Dawnstar will be able to handle a weapon like this, but don't discount the blade I gave her. Master Lee wanted her to have the keenest steel I could find. They say golden, a young, it could. Your weapon is well deserved, and you'll need it with these bandits so close. If you decide you truly don't like it, however, you can come see me after the bandits are dealt with. One more thing you need to know. These weapons strike with deadly precision, but to wield them safely, you must focus with each strike. Master Lee has been training you so that you'd be ready for this kind of weapon. And the drain won't be crippling, but you will get tired over time. That you should. Those people will be looking to you for leadership until Master Lee gets back. I know you'll do well. <laughs> Senior student! Oh. Excuse me, Weapon Master. I did not mean to interrupt. Calm down, student. What has you so flustered? The bandits. They've already been sighted down by the beach, and they're making their way toward the town. They're making their way toward the town now. The few men in the militia weren't able to stop them. I will run to the school and seal the gates. Make your way to the beach and teach these bandits a lesson. I know you can. You've done well, lad. Go back to the school now. Your friends have some new weapons they're dying to try out, I'm sure. White demon, stand! <laughs> Someone from the school would help. No one else could. Please, my boy Nijo is trying to fight them down on the beach, but we need someone skilled. I 
can hear fighting to the east. We have to push these bandits back off the beach. Thank the heavens you came down. They're animals. Nice little town you have here. Not a lot of guards, are there? How are your stocks of food? I don't know you. Why are you asking me all these questions? This town isn't well guarded. Forget it, let's just start looting. We'll get first crack at the good stuff. You're right. <laughs> believe they've moved so quickly. We need your weapon. I'm so shocked. I don't know what to say. You have to keep us safe. It's so awful. They killed him. Heavens, no! I am healed. I heard a terrible scream. Are the bandits here yet? Bandits, huh? I, I see a lot of them. I better let someone else have some fun for a change. Uh, no, please. I can't fight. I just didn't want to be a rock picker in my grandfather's field. Guarding the gate looked easy. I never thought bandits would actually come. Please don't let them get me. Don't let them. Hello, Oh, you know, well, the your weapon is well deserved, and if Master. Master Lee, I will. I am healed. White Demon. Yeah.
nice little town you have here. Not a lot of guards, are there? How are your stocks of food? I can't believe they moved so quickly. We need your weapon. Gujin will be in his shop north of the main stairs. It's so awful. They killed him. This building is Gujin's place. As soon as we can, we should see him to arm ourselves. Senior student. Oh, excuse me, Weapon Master. I did not mean to. Calm. I will. I am healed. White Demon. Longsword. <laughs> <laughs> Someone from the school would help. Please, my boy. I can hear fighting to the east. We have to push these bandits back off the. Thank the heavens you came down here. White demon. I am healed. Yet another village with no purpose. I will replenish our supplies and continue my search elsewhere. You will all, of course, have to die.
Skills are more than this tiny village warrants. But I also see something strange, an oddity. You could be an anomaly or a sign of who I seek. A further test is needed. These mercenaries are not the only threat I command. Let us see you contend with this. White demon, white demon. Impressive. Clearly, I have been too dismissive in my search. This village will be torn asunder. Whatever you are hiding, I will have it. I have seen enough of your skills. You will die now, so I am not troubled later. <clears throat> Well fought, my student, but I cannot risk you against a foe like this yet. So blatant. We never thought to look in so humble a place. We expected an army. Your strategy, as always, is impeccable. Your search is over, assassin, but no one will hear of your success. It would seem that my past is catching up to me, and you are destined to be swept along. You have faced your first spirit opponents far sooner than I intended. Dawnstar can explain the nature of such creatures. I must go and make sure everything is in place. I thought I had more time, but perhaps you are ready. Do not be so quick to thank me. My influence caused this attack. You were not meant to see this yet, but now there is no choice. I will explain to the school. You have done well, but more than this awaits you. See to your fellow villagers and students and return to me at the school. We have a great deal to discuss. We fought well against those bandits, but I had no idea Master Lee could command that kind of power. He destroyed that ship so easily. This is so confusing. Master Lee said I could explain the nature of spirits, but these were different. That sorcerer forced them to appear like wild dogs let loose. So many spirits seem lost, as if the way to their rest is blocked. I didn't think they were dangerous, but those on the beach... I sensed madness. Time drove them mad. 
You disrupted them by defeating them in combat. They will not reform for a long time. I hope there is peace in that, but I don't know. So much is worrying me. I was worried enough when we were expecting bandits. Now it seems there are dangers we don't even know about. Master Lee called that, that sorcerer an assassin. Assassins don't attack at random. They have very specific prey. I don't, I don't want anything to happen to this home. I've never belonged anywhere else. Would it be strange of me to say I don't know? I have very little memory of my home before coming here, even though I was three years old when I arrived. I remember moving around a lot, never staying anywhere for long, and for some reason, the robes of that sorcerer look familiar to me. I don't know why. I'm sure it's nothing, just the memories of childhood playing tricks. With glimpses of the spirit realm invading my thoughts, I could have seen them anywhere. specific incidents, but I am used to being shunned. People are not very welcoming of those who appear to not let the dead lay peacefully. Master Lee said I was brought to him by a concerned ally who received me from yet another person. That person wanted me safe, but he said he couldn't ensure it himself. Master Lee doesn't know who that guardian was, or what I needed protection from. He promised to look into it, but he has not had time. Your training has taken precedence. My abilities are just a curiosity. You are the center of attention here. I prefer it this way. I can just be. Then we should return to Master Lee so he can talk to you about this attack. I'm so glad you and Master Lee arrived when you did. My father ran to the school gate to find students to help. Did he make it? That is a great relief. We tried our best, but without you and Master Lee, we would have died. Thank you. Hopefully Master Lee can shed some light on what led to this. A sorcerer in our little village? What is wrong with the world? Wonakapiasariawaf <laughs> Wo ifirek uok son puno. O nigasurier kwana no koni uok nawata ir nik nipier. Yo kut nik kun uno sa ir son kut noka uok yor ir. Wo wo son puno no yapa pap nasia uir sa ir uoth. Ikir nik tine piru, wo ifirek uok son puno. Tawe ir kawana ir soni ir ipoki. You flatter, sir. I am sorry not every student has earned such respect. To go to Otoaso.
Oh, Dawnstar, there you are. I know I haven't spoken to you in a while. I saw him again last night, and I remembered what you said. I wasn't as afraid. I'm glad, Mrs. Zhang. He seemed peaceful, if a bit lost. But I know it's not your fault now. I'm sorry for disturbing you and for what I said before. Remember Zhang Jin, her son? He drowned last year after the mooring she tied let go. A sad accident. I saw his spirit and told her. She thought I was calling up ghosts. Some spirits return because of trauma, to rectify something that disturbed them in life or death. They are very focused. When the pain is gone, they find rest. At least they are supposed to. Jin's spirit told his mother the accident wasn't her fault. Now he wanders, unconnected to this world, and unable to pass to the next. Troubled spirits can be set to rest for a time, but unless the greater problem is corrected, it seems all dead are destined to wander until they go mad. I'm sorry, this has been difficult. I don't want to think about how it affects specific people. I'm still not sure I should have told Mrs. Zhang about her child. I don't know. People just want to be left alone with their grief. I guess blame is easier to understand than chance. Come on, we should go see if the students are alright. Master Lee will be waiting. It's a good thing we have Master Lee here. Those bandits will think twice before threatening a town protected by the likes of Master Lee. They were fools to even come here. The only shame is that their ship sunk. Think what we could have done with their plunder. Ah, uh, well, that's another opportunity lost. In this town, it's vital for a businessman to keep tabs on anyone with two coins to rub together. Things haven't been this slow since the long drought. That master of yours keeps things ludicrously stable while merchants thrive on strife. During the long drought, prices rocketed into the sky like fireworks. I can't say that. He's a wise man who sees to the heart of things. If I were to complain about anything, it's how few students he attracts. A skilled master could bring a lot of people into this town, but he is very selective about who comes. That's his business, I'm sure, but it affects my business as well. I get by. I suppose I shouldn't wish for strife, lest it come knocking on my door. Besides, the bandits didn't do as much to bring people to the store as I hoped. So maybe stability is underrated. Happily, we don't need to waste time on my gripes when there's silver to be spent. I have nothing at the moment. I can't keep my stock up. People are scared to travel, which prevents goods from getting here. I must apologize. If you wish, what do you want to know? I've never set my eyes beyond the horizon you can see from here. There must be someone else you could ask. I grew up during the worst of it, but I don't remember much. Just the joy when the Emperor put an end to it. Two Rivers was almost deserted by that time, but Master Lee arrived soon after, and we've had peace ever since. I don't know. That's why the Emperor is the Emperor, and I'm content to be here. I don't need to worry about it. Do come back when the weight of your silver is slowing you down. 
Always happy to help. Don't forget his senior student. They say he's the one who dealt with many of the bandits. Wait, which one do you mean? Surely not that arrogant... Hey, boys, look who it is. Is that the one gal the Lester's always going on about? I think so. I say they teach a little lesson about staying in your place when, when great men like Gao are around. You're not going anywhere. Gao will give us fat silver bonuses if we teach you a lesson about respect. not. No, he's the one in those striking robes with his hair shaved off. He's a handsome devil, that one. I knew you would not let those bandits overrun the village. I hope I equal your skill someday. Master Lee was looking to speak with you, wasn't he? After he left me here, he went back to his house in the center of the school, if you're looking for him. Those bandits are scary, but sometimes Master Lee is a little scary too. I hope this unfortunate matter with the bandits has not caused undue stress. Some good people were lost, but many were saved. It means, however, that I must accelerate your training. These invaders discovered us by accident, but as you likely suspect, they are related to your destiny. You have trained hard and are ready. You will have a pivotal role in some great events, my student, after you return from the Spirit Cave. I object! Gao, what is the meaning of this intrusion? Your pet student is not the only one who fought those outlaws. Perhaps I did not stand in their midst on the beach like a fool, but I did my part. If you spent less time coddling him, you would have many promising students instead of one. This is not a matter that can be decided by effort, Gao. There are things at play that you do not understand. I understand that this student has received preferential treatment and I have suffered for it. Whatever is in this spirit cave, I am worthy of facing it too. If he is truly better than me, let him prove it. I challenge him.
I will not have you brawling in the street. If this must happen, it will happen in the ring, as a proper test of your abilities. Gao, you are restricted to styles that I have taught. I know the dark tutoring your father, Gao the Greater, has imparted, but I won't have any such sorcery here. Hobbled before I begin. Of course. How else would your precious protege win? My student, I do not trust Gao to fight honorably. Consider your attacks carefully. Prepare yourself and return when you are ready. Then let the fighters meet in the arena. Fighters, are you ready? This challenge will continue until one of you is incapacitated. This is not a practice bout. Injury is a possibility. A possibility? I think it is more than likely. Master, are you certain this is appropriate? They have a dispute, and this is the only way to settle it with certainty. It will be an honorable contest. I have restricted Gao from using his father's sorcery. I said you would regret getting in my way. Fighters, begin! White Heavenly Wave! <laughs> 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 The challenge has concluded, and the winner is clear. No! I'm not finished! Gao, I have made enough concessions to you today. I thought I could guide you away from your corrupted path. But you are too much the son of Gao the Greater. You are no longer welcome among my students, and your father's house shall have no more business here, despite his influence. I was not beaten! Not by this peasant! You were defeated by your own foolish ambition and predictable temper. I will speak with you in my chambers about your expulsion. Go now. Everyone, this challenge is concluded. I'm sure the victor would appreciate your congratulations. They are well earned. Enjoy the words of your fellows. I will wait in the main hall, where we will discuss the spirit cave. Be certain you are ready when you come to me. Your life is about to change. That was exciting. I'm glad you are safe. I knew you would be. Your skill is unmatched. Even Gao had to see that. I suppose that's what set him off. I hope he isn't allowed to stay. Punishment just makes him worse. Master Li has bent like a willow to accommodate him and his sorcerer's father. But don't you wish that some things made more sense? Anticipation is grueling. So much could be happening that you just don't know about. It scares me sometimes, all this talk of troubled spirits. I didn't ask to be a part of it. As much as you want to know more, I doubt you had a say in your fate either. I'm... I'm sorry. This is supposed to be a happy time. You've proven your ability and... Master Lee is waiting for you. You should go to him.
Gao was a fool to challenge you. You have always been better than him. This day has been full for you, and you still have the cavern to face. If you listen to Lin parroting the villagers' stories, that place has a dark past, but I'm sure Master Li wouldn't send you into unreasonable danger. Master Li assures me I will heal in time. It's a shame, as Smiling Mountain was teasing me just yesterday with some special prize. Smiling Mountain trains students in group combat, and just yesterday, I managed to break your record for the number of opponents faced at once. He teased me by saying if I could go one higher, he might have a prize for me. I suppose he might make the same offer to you, if you're up to it. If I could fight, he could likely round up enough opponents for you to make a run at a new record, but I can't face anyone with this wound. Unless you can speed up time, I'm not sure there's much that can be done. Master Lee has already tended to it. Then again, I vaguely recall a grass or herb that hastens the healing process. Someone like Old Ming might know for sure. He's quite interested in herbs. I think so, though I can't remember the name. It was some kind of rare grass, I think. I don't think it's a common plant, no. The only person I can think of who might know for sure would be Old Ming. I know you're very busy, but if you happen to have time and be passing by the beach, I'd appreciate it if you would at least ask Old Ming. Take care. Oh, and if you happen to find anything that might help this wound after... Gao was a fool for challenging you. Oh, he's good, but you've always been stronger. He just wouldn't admit it to himself. Thing is, your prize is going into the cavern beneath the school. To hear Lin tell it, that place is going to challenge even you. Next to nothing. I know Master Lee forbids us to go in there until our final test, but that's about the only fact I have. I hate repeating stories that aren't my own. Lynn has no such qualms, so go ask her about the cavern. Gao's actions were foolish. He knew he could not beat you fairly, and so he chose to catch you by surprise. Is there anything you need? Perhaps a training session with some of the students. It would do them good. Ah, yes, training. The lessons you learn from me, or from any... Let's see what you can learn. Everyone was so scared, and I still am. That sorcerer seemed far too interested in you and Master Li. Wuno wil na no ba yesu isano yuyo ko nirpuk no song ko na no wana nyapir ikir nik tine piru wu ifirek uok son puno. Sair, iwi ni kwa ir, wu sair wunyo. Ta 
Hawi ia kawana ia suni ir ibuaki. Wuno wir na no ba ia su isana yuyo ko nir puk no sangkut na no wana nyapir. Niato wuno napadi iru wir ko ni uk nawate ir. Ir kana wuni kesuri ir kawana no kesa ir iru. Tasi ir si ir tintu. Funye wo 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 si ye wo ta hu fu. I paner nu ko iwa ir ni kasanari iruru ni nuwa sa. O sa ir kokenato tanatia katanano shafato yo kokenato si ir i panon ni ko. Ni ato wo na napadi iru ir ko ni ug nawa te ir. O sa ir kokenato tanatia. Katana no, shafato yo, kokonato si iri pano neniko. Te kotro to aso. A potential customer is a welcome customer. What can I do for you? Oh yes, I had heard that someone was injured and immediately saw the opportunity to make vast sums of... No, to make a difference, that's it. Anyway, I've checked my stocks and I only have enough ingredients to make one dose of the salve for a poultice. I'm not sure how much good it will do by itself. Might take a bit of the sting away. Oh, now that's thinking, isn't it? Yes, I suppose red silk grass might be just the thing for a wound. I could add it to the poultice. Expensive stuff, that. Very pricey. Hard to acquire, too. Would certainly help her wound, but I know something just as good. Get her some bearded tongue grass and she'll feel better. It won't hasten the healing any, so she'll have to take it easy, but it will deaden the pain. If you think you can justify such opulence to heal something that time would take care of, who am I to argue? I'll just need your payment to prepare the poultice. An excellent choice. I'll mix the salve for you and prepare the poultice. It won't take a moment. There you go. Her pain will fade quickly, and the binding effects of red silkgrass will make sure she can fight again, if she wants to. Your generosity is extreme, but who am I to complain? Enjoy, and I hope it makes your friend better quickly. Do come back when the weight of your silver is slowing you down. Always happy to help. This has been a busy day for us all. The sun breaks through the clouds when I hear news like this. Heavens, I can already feel it working. That's amazing. Yes, yes, this should be perfect. The poultice must have cost you some silver. Let me repay you. What did it cost? That's very kind of you. I can't thank you enough. If you're interested in trying to set a new record for Smiling Mountain's special prize, whatever it is, then I'll be ready. Goodbye. What can I do for you? I am here to serve and train. Yes, and the students are on edge from the bandit attack. 
It would do them good to work some of that out. And now that Kia Min is feeling better, maybe you'd like to challenge her record in my little training exercise. Kia Min says that she is feeling well and her wound seems to be already healing. I believe she will provide a fine challenge for you. If you win this match, then I will have a special reward for you. Good fortunes. As promised, here is a reward for setting a new standard. Kia Min is eager to try again, but I asked her to rest for now. She seems well, despite her earlier injury. Now, is there anything else you wish at the moment? Goodbye. I am here if you need anything. Ah, uh, there you are. Have you finished all your business with your fellow students? I expect our next conversation to change a great many things. You should be ready. Then leave me to deal with God. Ah, uh, there you are. Have you finished? Wait outside, Gao. I will finish with you later. Now, my student, there are many things ahead that you must discover about yourself. I trust you know the importance of your destiny. You are an orphan, but you were not abandoned. You were rescued from the Temple of Dirge in the land of howling spirits. You were orphaned by violent action. I take responsibility for it. You see, I used to be more than a humble teacher. To learn of yourself, you must learn more of me. I was once leader of the Imperial Army. I was known as Sun Li, the glorious strategist. I am the brother of Emperor Sun Hai. I will tell you more, but first, we have an uninvited visitor. Gao never could keep his ears to himself, especially when angry. So predictable. He's heard as much as I wanted him to. Perhaps it will give him a little perspective. He should respect even the most humble person, because who knows what lies within. That includes you and me both. I was ashamed. He seized your homeland during the long drought. It was an aggressive change in the Empire that would soon bring Death's hand to power. I withdrew my support and tried to rally your people against the siege I had helped plan. A doomed effort. Many died on both sides. Sun Kin, another brother, also fell. Listen, I will tell you how you came into my care.
Your people were killed. I am haunted by it, and now the world may join me. The assassin on the beach was a lotus assassin, a minion of death's hand. More will come. Most in the Empire know nothing of the land of howling spirits. I found its people to be honorable, but I can't tell you more than that. There was no time to learn more. He is the right hand of the Emperor, and rules the Lotus Assassins in place of Prince Sun Kin, who was killed at Dirge, a death he may have orchestrated. He shows no hesitation, and gave no thought to the lives of those we faced. His influence poisons the Emperor. I have no doubt he is utterly evil. I have never faced him, but I know of no one living who has. A dark energy sustains him. That is the armor of a man who has no remorse, no pity. There were three. Emperor Sun Hai, Prince Sun Kin, the Hand of Heaven, and myself, Sun Li, the glorious strategist. Age decided our place in the order of things. Sun Hai was the eldest, and therefore emperor. I was next, and was head of the army. Sun Kin was the youngest, and leader of the monastic order. Your people were guardians, but we did not have a clear idea of what. It is tied to your destiny. I will explain if you want me to move on. You were meant for something important, but because of my actions, it was denied you. Stories about ghosts, the assassin on the beach, you are tied to this. Our dead no longer drift to the underworld. They wander, lost, going mad. In time, they may overwhelm the living. It began when your people were destroyed. We are on the edge of the Empire, and not all spirits make their presence known. We are not immune, but I kept you isolated. This information could endanger you. The first assassin found us by accident. The next attack may not be so... unfocused. To fix the world, you may threaten the power of some dangerous people. The Spirit Cave will make things as clear as they can be. Only you are meant to understand what is within. You will see the corruption of the spirit realm for yourself. It was partly the strange skills of Dawnstar that showed me to the corruption, and partly something that belongs to you. You'll understand when you enter. No, but few places truly are. This has been a lot to comprehend, so take your time. There are instructions inside, and something that belongs to you, an amulet. When you emerge, you will know more about yourself and your destiny than I can explain, and you will better know your enemy. Spirits go mad if denied passage to the underworld. They are strong, but you can fight them. You can't kill the dead, but in defeat they are disrupted and can't reform for a time. You are tied to the reason why spirits wander. Many appeared after your people fell, and some are held in this cave. They are drawn to your amulet. It is a head waiting for you. Be careful. It is desired by many seeking power beyond the mortal realm. I make no apology for these trials, my student. You will come to see how necessary they are.
The dragon amulet was with you in Dirge. I understand what it does, but you are the one meant to be trained in its use. I am sorry that my actions denied you this. Essence gems are used by healers and upstart sorcerers, and are common enough to be wasted on ornamentation. But with this amulet, you can tap their true potential. Your people were adept at using essence gems. I kept it from you because power is a beacon. The forces behind the restless dead will take an interest in you. Even mindless spirits may be drawn to you, just as they were confined here. In achieving your true power, you become a target that many will not be able to resist. Longsword! Heavenly, heavenly way! White demon! student, I hope you realize your importance. The restless dead must be allowed to find their way to the underworld. All of us will suffer if things continue as they are. Seek the source of this problem and eradicate it. That is your purpose and burden. I hope that the basics I have taught you will aid you in setting everything right. Not all spirits succumb to bestial rage. A strong will can transcend death. These beings may have powers beyond any living foe, and intelligence to beguile and confuse. All will suffer if the dead remain this way. Soon you must leave two rivers. Seek the source of this problem, even if it leads to the heart of the Empire. I have old friends who may guide you, but I have old enemies too. The cave is secure. Meditate on what you see here. When you leave, all will be changed. Sai-irat-we-wukukupir-fini-si-takawo-wukir-wir-uk-tara-no-ul-tak-no-fantayana-uk-no-ni-pi-na-to-wa-wo-tawa-ir-fu-ye-o-no-so-fa-kar-huru
Kukut Nikun Kawashia Nikun Pivia Sada Tawa Ia Kawana Ia Sumir Ipodoki Wonawa Wukir Weir Uktarano Utak No Fantayana Ukun Nipina Tawa Wu Tawa Ia Fuya Ono Safakar Huru My powers stretch thin, bled away, and you are too small, too mortal to truly understand. But small things can move beneath the notice of others. Your master hopes that you will grow strong while he leads the predators away. His reasons are clouded, but you must find a way through the fog. You are the one who can hear, the one who can act. Search, but look also for yourself. You are a spirit monk, and you are the last. I do not have the strength to answer. I am cut open, and the way to the underworld is shut. Spirits are lost with no shepherd, no guardians. You must restore us. The amulet is a focus. It will guide you. But when you know both sides of the Veil of Death, ability alone will save you. I have a moment of power. A window to grant knowledge of a primal energy. You must choose between ice and fire, and I will grant the skill to bring them to your hands. Emotions burn within, but can be coaxed outwards as well. Harness this to bring fire to your hands. Yours is the power to unleash dire flame. There is no inherent villainy in any martial action, only in the hearts of those who wield them. If you rely too much on simple force, then you cannot act without it. I can do no more. I must fade. Pity those spirits that have grown twisted. You will come to know their pain when life leaves you. Pity the world if you fail, spirit monk, for you are the last.
are you doing out here? You are supposed to be meditating on the amulet and what you have learned for at least another day. A vision? Ah, oh, of course you did. A natural reaction to the great amount of information I have placed before you. It may have something to do with your amulet. Uh, tell me, did you learn anything about the destiny that stretches before you, or what has led you this far? Be careful. I do not want you to be misled by sources I cannot anticipate. Your people had warriors by that name. I regret that my actions caused their downfall. Twenty years ago, the Empire was mired in drought. Your people revered the Water Dragon, so their Temple of Dirge was the ideal place to ask the heavens for help. But the Water Dragon governed more than just moisture. The drought was part of the natural order, and not for mortals to alter. The spirit monks denied us access. The Emperor was incensed. He asked me to plan a display of power that would force their compliance. As our armies marched, I realized how wrong we were. He could not be dissuaded. I fled with you as the rest of your people were killed. You must discover for yourself what being the last of your kind means. What else did this vision reveal? You were only to retrieve the amulet, learn to place gems in it, and meditate on your future. I don't want you to be distracted. Master Lee, there's still no sign of her. What? What is it, Wu? I'm sorry, my mind was elsewhere. Dawnstar, as I told you, Master. She went missing after Gao's men were discovered in the school. The state of her room suggests some sort of fight took place. I see. She is not there. No, Master Lee. There's no sign of her. I see. This may prove useful. Thank you, Jing Wu. You may go. Your appearance put Gao's disgrace out of my mind, but it would seem that your early exit from the caves has come at just the right time. I doubt she has come to harm. She is a strong woman, as you know. That doesn't mean you shouldn't search for her. It will be a good measure of your ability. What better way to show mastery over your abilities than to turn them towards helping your fellow student? Seek her out. I doubt she is in the school, and someone would have seen her if she was in the village. You might want to try the surrounding marshland. That is good. Time is very important. Here, take some silver. I asked Fendo and the others to stock essence gems in preparation for this day. Hopefully they have done so. You learned in the cave how single gems are viewed as trinkets and used by self-professed healers and would-be sorcerers, but you can unlock their full potential. Make sure you have everything you need when you leave to find Dawnstar. Do not cloud your mind with anything else. When you return, your course will be clear.
I heard about Dawnstar. Perhaps I can help in some small way. Fe ah, yes. The lessons. Let's. Dawnstar is nice. You should make sure she's safe. I couldn't believe it. He killed him with a single blow and laughed as this poor boy gasped his last. You! Gal the Lesser did this. He was dragging some sort of sack and this boy challenged him. This brave young man stopped Gal and demanded to know what he was carrying. Gao just laughed at him and tried to walk on by, but this student challenged him. Gao just shrugged, turned, and killed this poor boy in one blow. I couldn't say. It was awfully large and looked heavy, but I was watching from a ways away. We didn't want to get close to that murderer. We hid out of sight as Gao went toward the gate, out of town. Possibly, but we were too far away to say for sure. If you really want to know, go catch that fiend. He was headed for the gate out of town. Gao was in a rush, but you might be able to catch him still. Be on your guard if you truly mean to pursue him. Gao's mad with rage, as this poor lad learned too late. There you are. I hear your friend has gone missing. So sad. Very sad indeed. More importantly, my stock has arrived. Braving roads dangerous with ghosts and bandits. A caravan runner just dropped off a load of supplies. What can I do for you? I just received some new items, a rare delivery that made it through. Some gems that you may be interested in. Have a look for yourself. Do you have a moment? Oh, senior student. I wanted to thank you for your help earlier. I wasn't sure anyone would come down to our little circle of houses when the bandits attacked. It's out of the way, so I'd almost given up hope. And I was glad to see you, though, uh, there's the small matter of my chest. Which is to say, its contents were not there. The bandits had taken almost everything I had, but I know it was still there when, well, when you arrived. It was rather full of silver. A life savings, you know. Would you happen to know what happened? But... but... 
That silver was mine. What gives you the right to take it? You are no better than those bandits. Thank you so much. I will never forget this. The whole village is talking about you, and it's richly deserved. Good day to you. You look like you have something. Gao killed someone? And I let him go past here without questioning him? I'm an old fool. I wished I'd look to see what he was dragging. He was heading towards the gate. The only place he could get to on foot is the swamp. That bog is full of bandits, and who knows what else. Despite that, it still seems the most likely place. He'll be slowed down by that load. You could still catch him if you hurry. Good luck to you. It's a bit of a shame what happened to the guard here. The fool got in the way of Gao the Lesser. The young master thought you might come after him, so he left us here to slow you down. You were lucky against those bandits, but we're not so easy to push around. You aren't even scared, are you? Trained soldiers threatening you and you aren't even blinking. No wonder Gal the Lesser didn't want to face you. If you want to go after him, just go. It's not worth fighting with you. Oh, my head feels like a war drum and the battle did not go in the Empire's favor. What happened? I, I was speaking with... with... Gao, that spoiled little noisy cricket. He hit me without cause. That repulsive... I wish I'd known ahead of time, you know, before he hit me. Gate guards, we're an unappreciated lot. I'm sorry about that, student. I truly am. I didn't see her. He was dragging a large sack, and I asked if he needed help. He said no, just the key to the gate, and then he conjured this ball of flame around his hand. I don't really remember what happened next. I might have passed out. No one's ever threatened me before. There's only one place he could have gone if he left the village. The path leads past the fields to the swamps. What, what did he do? Why would he resort to attacking me just to leave the village? What? That arrogant whelp! I trust you're following him to put him in his place. Go on. Why waste time talking to me? Get moving! Quit crying, fool. Oh. My poor Fen, what have you done to her? Who's White there? Demon. More of Gao's soldiers? I'm through hiding. The mark.
please. My name is Hing, and you must help me. My fen is so delicate, she will chafe under a bandit's yoke. We were traveling to two rivers. I bring goods between the farms that line the valley. I knew we were getting too close to the marshes. Why was I so foolish? Of course these thieves would strike at my beautiful fen. I can't leave without her. They'll work her to death or eat her or worse. Can you do anything, please? I thank you, and my fen will thank you when she is returned to me. My precious flower of the fields. I can't leave without her. I am no common bandit. I've been hunted by far worse than you. your attack, young student. I am not your enemy. This was a misunderstanding. I have tried very hard to go unnoticed, but I also need to eat. I've been on the outskirts of your village once or twice to trade goods. I saw you training. My name is Zhu. I have been called Sagacious Zoo, if you prefer a title. It's a name I share with the first emperor, Sagacious Tien. That is a personal matter. You'll have to take my word that I'm above common robbery, if not many other things. Besides, I have already shown that I have no love for the more common kinds of filth roaming out here. If you know that name, you know the type of men the family employs. I wonder, does their increased presence in the marsh have anything to do with why you are here? Gao the Lesser. I know the family. This is a brazen act, even for them. But now I understand why their men are clearing a path through the marsh. No wonder you came out here as you did. You're looking to rescue someone. You probably gave no thought to your own safety. That is very selfless of you. I tend to think more... efficiently. I did hear something about a camp. They seem to be killing bandits, so they won't be disturbed. There wasn't much more. I just wanted some peace and quiet. No, I'm not interested in looking for trouble. I'm sorry, but I have my reasons. As bad as this is, you're better off without my help. Dawnstar. I am familiar with that name. But I still can't. I've spent a long time avoiding trouble. I don't want to go looking for it now. I'm sorry. Wait. Dawn Star, your friend should not suffer because of my reluctance. A group of men went to the north. They had a large pack that was giving them trouble. That may be where their camp is. There's no way to leave the marsh in that direction. Not on foot, anyway. I will show you. It is easy to get lost.
I can refuse some fool determined to get lost in the swamp, but I doubt your friend earned her fate. Gal the Lesser shouldn't get such a prize without a fair fight. Now come, we have some catching up to do. We'll find them. Like I said, they can't get out in that direction. Not on foot. I will try not to make you regret it. Your task is probably complicated enough as it is. Let's go. The main camp is to the north, but there are soldiers all around this area. If you want to find trouble, let's do it quickly. Based himself in the shouldn't killing outlaws yield some good silver all I found is this troublesome creature and she won't do a thing I say her last keeper trained her too well if we can't get any work out of her I want her cut and carve for tomorrow if I have to be out here on Gao's little errand at least I can be well fed look out it must be more bandits get them Thank you for saving me. I was getting tired of catering to these fools. I thought I was saved when they killed the bandits that raided my husband's wagon, but these soldiers were no better. You have my gratitude. Fen? You have come this far for Fen? Did Hing send you here without even mentioning my name? Oh dear, this will be unpleasant for someone. I am Sing Wa. These animals made me cook for them, clean up their filth. And Hing sent you for the flower. I will kill him. No, but she is here. Oh yes, just over here. Let me present her to you. Fen, come! Fen, my flower! You are safe. I knew this great fighter would save you. I couldn't leave without you. The cart needs your strength to pull it. I am safe as well, Hing. Or did you forget I was missing? Oh, there you are, my dear. I'm glad you did not come to harm. But you are more concerned about the ox, I see. Gao? One of the soldiers said someone with that name is at a camp to the far north. Of course, he may have been speaking of someone more important. Perhaps the camp goat. I prayed for your safe return, dear, but the cart will not move itself. You will be lucky if I don't make you pull it while the ox rides. She is clearly important enough. Come. Leave any of our stolen silver as reward for our savior. I value my own life at least that much. Someone has to. Yes, dear. Do I have to slaughter that thing for you to show me some attention? No, dear. Are you lying again? No, dear. Are you listening to me? No, dear. It looks like the soldiers have taken control from the bandits who normally rule here. Oh, useless marsh! Look! More bandits creeping into the camp! Get...
What? Who? No, wait. I don't want any more trouble. Yes, I can do that. Whatever you want. Who? The woman. She got loose from the sack and ran into the cave. Would have been safer out here with us. That cave is home to both toad demons and ogres, and both are in a foul temper from fighting over the space. Running in there is like moving from the claws to the fangs. We refused to go after her, so Gao went himself. I don't know. He just said it was very important that he get her tonight. He brought a few groups of us over for it. We didn't take her. We made Gao do that himself. I know we shouldn't have let him talk us into any of this, but he doubled our pay. It was just one woman. Compared to some things, well, all I'll say is that this wasn't the worst thing done by a Gao lately. Look, that's all I can say. Just let me go. I won't be any more trouble for you. If I go back to Gao's father, I'll be killed as a failure. A reasonable punishment. Gao has some things right. By my grandfather, I won't get in your way again, I swear. You are far too generous with your mercy. Thank you. You won't see me again. Is this more bandits but coming from the camp? Your time has come. Sorry. It's always someone else's fault, isn't it, Gao? This is your mess. I didn't make you kidnap me. Your friend is doing a good job of frustrating Gao into carelessness. That will work in your favor, but it also means we have to follow them by a different route. Be careful. That means fresh enemies for us. These caves harbor strange creatures. White Demon! White Demon! Good. 
If your friend is in danger, we should... I never had cause to enter these caves. Gao will have to pay for this inconvenience. I swear, Dawnstar, my patience is running thin. No! No! Not you! Anyone but you! What are you doing here? It seems Gao doesn't think much about anything. <laughs> I understand more than you. I did you a favor, but you are too stupid to know a good thing when you're in its grasp. Being kidnapped was a good thing? You have an odd view of what it takes to impress a woman. Fool! You'd be dead if it wasn't for me. Everything you have is gone. My father was seen to that. No see. Death comes from above to ferret out your hidden master in his real name. Dawnstar was the only thing I wanted to save, and what thanks do I get? Nothing. So be it. I'll just kill you all and forget your pitiful little village ever existed. You'll see. You've already lost no matter what happens here. You'll see. I'll make you see. You don't have a choice. I won't let you walk away this time. Good. There's no Master Lee to restrict how I fight. I'll kill you in time to see the red sky over your village. <laughs> my rescue. I'm not sure why Gao thought he would get away with this. He had to know that someone in the village would come for me, although I suspected it would be you. I am grateful. Your friendship has always been a comfort to me. Maybe that was what made Gao so jealous. I don't know. And who is this? I must thank your new acquaintance for his help as well. Sagacia Su, you don't owe me anything. I just helped your young friend through the swamp. Sagacia Su, well, I am grateful. I don't know what Gao meant by saying he was doing me a favor. How could dragging me here be beneficial? Agreed. I want Master Lee to know that we are both safe. It's too bad, though. He wanted to reach Gao. I'm sure of it. Gao just seemed to get more and more bitter. He didn't respond well to discipline. It's too bad. Don't be long. I don't want to stay here a moment longer than I have to.
What happened to Gao's men? I thought they abandoned him, but it looks like you had to fight them all. I didn't realize you took that much of a risk getting to me. Thank you. I heard Gao yelling at them to kill any bandits who might approach. I guess they wouldn't stop to ask questions. His mercenaries didn't seem too eager to follow me into the cave, though. It seemed like they were humoring him. Maybe they were his father's men. I don't... Wait. Do you hear something? There are so many. Where are they coming from? You should be more concerned with where they are going. You may have won a victory over Gao the Lesser, but it looks like he put things in motion that have outlived him. What? What do you mean? These machines have weapons. They drop casks that explode on impact. There will be soldiers on the ground as well. Was... was that what Gao meant? He said something about death coming from above for Master Li. It doesn't matter. We have to get back. The students, everyone will need our help. Walk away, Dawnstar. You won't get there in time. Better to avert your eyes than see something you care about fall to ruin. Save yourself the pain. This machine of Gao's, do you know how to make it work? Could you fly it? I doubt there are two people in the Empire that know how they work. It's a baffling combination of magic and artifice. We may be able to do it among the three of us. I was told that they are simple to control. So you don't really know? If you actually cared about the safety of this machine, you wouldn't be about to fly it into a swarm of enemies. What guarantee do you want? There is a handle attached to something like the reins of an ox yoke. You move it left and right, forward and back. It should swim through the air fairly smoothly. Will you come to help us, Zoo? You seem to have a good heart. If you are intent on returning, I will accompany you. I have already done more than I wanted, but I could not avoid this forever. You are an interesting person, Sagacious Sue. Your eyes hold a great sadness that is oddly familiar to me, but I don't know why. Perhaps I am imagining it. We will discuss it another time. I hope we are not too late.
is one I expected. I'm sorry you had to see this. I saw the smoke from the air, but I didn't think... didn't think it would be so bad. Everyone... everyone is gone. I hope you are right. Master Lee wouldn't let this happen, not without a fight. Guide Zhu to the heart of the school. We will meet there. is what I expected. Clearly no one was meant to survive. I hate this. There's no challenge in killing simple peasants. They said no survivors, so there better be no survivors. I know, I know, but who is this for? Whoever's really giving the orders must be influential. Do you want to ask out the greater? No. So quit yapping and make sure there's no survivors. Looks like we have a few more peasants to put down. Let's just make it quick. White demon! Yes. <laughs> <laughs> school is burning as expected. This is what happens when home turns to battlefield. Let's hope the flames leave you more than just troubled memories. White demon! and save as many as I can. Go! What is this? We missed a couple of these pitiful students? This is like crushing ants. There's no end to you people. You have no right to talk, Vermin. Huh. The same question all the others asked. You'll get the same answer, too. Men! Gal the Greater wants this village cleared. Get the job done! White demon. Your end is
There were so many. Everywhere. And fire from the skies. Shh. We've chased off all of Gao's men. We'll be safe now. No, they came later. First there were fighters in black. With fists you could hardly see. She told them where to attack and they turned like... Like one mind. One purpose. Except... Except for the one. He stood alone. His armor so black. Black like a hole in the earth. So deep you, you can't... Can't get out. You'll be all right. Just be still. I tried. I tried so hard. I'm sorry. Wu said... He said there was no warning. Just calm skies and then fire from above. He organized the students, but they were overrun. Master Li was taken when it began. He went without a fight, giving them what they wanted. But afterwards, the students... They were killed anyway. The Lotus Assassins. They leave no one alive to tell the tale. People fear the unknown. For Gal the Greater to have them as allies is troubling. The figure your friend spoke of is Death's Hand, the leader of the Lotus Assassins. This... student was strong to live as long as he did. The Lotus Assassins answered a death's hand alone. He would not appear unless this was important. He usually acts behind the scenes. I don't know why they were so intent on taking your Master Lee, but they never attack without purpose. That's not possible. Sun Li, the glorious strategist, was the Emperor's brother and the head of the Imperial Army. Your Master Li cannot be him. Why not? Because he can't. Sun Li was declared a traitor to the Empire 20 years ago. The Emperor himself accused him of killing the third brother, Prince Kin. And besides, the glorious strategist would not have made such mistakes mistakes revealing himself for one for another he would have known that giving himself up would not save your students I stayed on the outskirts I saw him at a distance a couple of times but had no reason to look past the beard for a man 20 years dead I had other interests it doesn't matter. I know enough about the Glorious Strategist to say he would not have made these mistakes. And I know far too much about the Lotus Assassins. I... I was one. If you will not be dissuaded, we should go to the Imperial City and the Mosquito Flyer. Gal the Greater has powerful contacts. You may find a path to him there. You know a lot. We will have to talk about the source of that knowledge. Make whatever judgment you wish. I assure you, I have already made worse. Let's go. I don't... I don't want to be here. I want to go where I can actually make a difference. That is a very common desire. The hardest to achieve, but very common. Come, let's see if we can get Gao the Lesser's contraption in the air again. It won't be stable enough to get to the Imperial City, but we might reach the trading village of Tian's Landing. All trade routes lead to the heart of the Empire. If we are lucky, we can find someone to give us passage. If we're lucky. <laughs>